this video, I will take a brief look at my own board, this custom vesk based build, and talk about the good, the bad, and the details of how it came together. If you are interested in Vesk one wheels, this information may be helpful as you go about making choices for your own projects. Following this mini review will be a much longer form video going over all of the parts and the build of the whole board. By the way, this video is sponsored by me. My shop, The Board Garage, is a repair and custom hobby shop that mostly works on board-shaped electric rideables. Through that work, we're able to inform both the content that is published and, maybe more importantly, the products we make and sell. Product reviews presently and going forward will only be done on products that are purchased, and the channel no longer takes free products for review or offer affiliate codes or links for reviewed items. So if this video or any other video has been helpful, please consider supporting on Patreon at the link in the description, or by becoming a member of the channel. Thank you for your time. So this board revolves around a few main ingredients, at least at its core. The Fungineer's Thor 300 complete front box, the Superflux motor, and my usual rear end, the Meat Pack battery, Float Life Badger Torque Box, and the X-Lite BMS. These are parts that I have built with enough to have good familiarity with them, and they've been around long enough to have a known track record with the majority of the kinks worked out by now. Which is, by the way, what I usually recommend to folks who are interested in Vesk one wheel builds. Try to stick with what has a good history and can last not the newest thing with the flashiest features. It saves a lot of time and headache, which is the kind of thing you just don't really get back. Anyway, this is built on an XR frame using Float Life WTF rails. It also uses bang bumpers and my favorite XR foot pad of all time, the Future Motion Sure Stance Pro Fusion. Such a good foot pad, just a little bit of concave, retro one wheel aesthetics, perfect. Starting at the Vesk itself, I really do appreciate the Thor 300. It had a pretty rocky start, but for the most part, it has reached a pretty stable place. And it remains one of the coolest running Vesks that you can get, especially when it's paired with the aluminum front enclosure box. The complete box set is convenient, and it has most of the connectors in place already. I did change one thing, specifically adding a fuse to the charge port like I usually do. It's an added layer of protection since charging a lithium ion battery is the most dangerous condition it can be in, generally. Performance wise, the Vesk works well. It was easy to set up as far as that goes, and thanks to Surf Dotto, link to his channel in the description, the momentary button and auto off features work perfectly. Nicely done. Going towards the rear, the Superflux motor is still, in my opinion, the best Vesk one wheel motor you can get. It too has had a bit of a rocky history, but at this point they are mostly good and stable and their power ceiling is much, much higher than most riders could ever actually run into. On trails where you are likely to need the most power, you are more likely to break traction at the tire than you are not having enough power come out of this motor. The V2 and V3 motors have a fantastic single bit connector with a robust locking collar that seals well onto the panel mount connector. No complaints there. On this motor, I currently have a Hoosier EB1 slick tire, which I really like. It feels like old school one wheel tires from before 2020, but I have had several other tires on this motor from the stock Thunder tire to the GOAT tire, and this board is the one I've been using to do tire reviews. More of those reviews are coming up as well, by the way, but I have always appreciated the Superflux, and with this board, I continue to. Again, moving rearward is the actual rear end. Installed into the torque box is my own battery, the 18S2P Meat Pack, using Samsung 50S cells. At the risk of tooting my own horn, this is still one of the most stable, reliable batteries in Vesk One Wheel. Over the last three to four years, they just continue to deliver really great range, an easy install, and just solid use. I do not keep track of all of them, of course, but this battery is in most of the local Vesk boards, and some of them pass three to 4,000 miles by now and are still going strong. Last fall, my friends and I took a long ride up to the Croton Aqueduct, all of us on this battery and all of them on Vesk boards that I made, and they all performed well and have been for years now. Prior to that, we took a trip up to Bear Mountain and made it up the mountain, regenning on the way down. Good times. The X-Lite BMS, specifically the V4 I've used, has also been solid. It does need to be configured, but once it is, it does a really good job of managing the charging of the battery and providing good feedback on how the battery is doing in terms of cell levels, balance, and temperature. It's a bit noisy on the data readings sometimes, but you get used to that, and VESC connected BMS units are really nice to have. And I'm hoping sometime soon to see cell level battery data be able to trigger pushback. That would be really great. 
So that whole core layout was assembled and then installed into the WTF rails and the board was completed with the rest of the bits. The front sensor pad is a custom bit made from a routed out Profusion pad to match the rear and installed with a stoked stock V3 sensor. That still works great and I built this board in July 2024. There are a couple of things I would like to change about this board, but they are relatively small and so I'll just lay them out for you. The Thor 300, while it performs well, is really, really noisy. From what little I can gather, it has to do with the DC to DC power supply, the step down power converter, which has more voltage ripple than it probably should, I think. The result is that when driving lights, you can hear and kind of feel that UFO type sound coming from the board. If you install brighter headlights like I did, these are Avis Spark laser beams, the increased current draw makes the noise even louder. It really only happens at low speed when the hall sensors are reading motor position and it goes away above two to three miles per hour, but still it's not really something I like and I wish it wasn't there. Hopefully the Thor 400 has addressed that. I have one here for the upcoming 126 volt fast pack, but I haven't built with this thing yet, so I don't know. Anyway, the front sensor pad, I would change the connector I used. The plug here is an actual Switchcraft brand connector for that standard XR style bayonet bit, where it usually has a generic style connector. The Switchcraft I used is really tight fitting and it really sucks to remove. I hate it. Next time I will just use the same generic one that has always been used and I'll stop trying to do things better. To conclude, I love this board. I really do. It ticks all of the boxes of performance, reliability, durability, and looks. It's got everything I need and nothing I don't. No untested parts, no hazardous approaches, just solid choices and a dependable ride. Since setting it up, I have not reconfigured it, changed any settings, or had to fix anything in over 1200 miles. It just works. By the way, I will be offering a DIY kit style of thing with these parts, and as always, I do offer the batteries I use in my own boards. They've got still the best track record on the market and are used by and survive the robust and spirited riding of the talented folks over at the Float Life. I do periodic restocks, and so when I've made a batch of parts or batteries, I list them for sale and ship them out when they're ordered. I don't do lead times since I don't like having anyone's money for things that I cannot just ship out from the shelf. Anyway, coming up is the entire build of this thing, which I hope will be helpful to anyone considering such a project. As always, I appreciate your viewership and take care.